Back continuing the news now. With the Met Office predicting below normal rainfall for the next three months, the government is in a mad rush to prevent another water crisis. Minister with Responsibility for Water, Pernell Charles Jr., gave preliminary details in an interview with our news center. TVJ's Andrea Chisholm reports. Images like these dominated screens last year as Jamaicans grappled with a severe water crisis due to drought. Children cannot go to school, people cannot cook, plate cannot wash. Now with the Met Office already predicting near normal or below normal rainfall from January to March, some are worried about a repeat of the 2019 water dilemma. Parishes such as Portland and St. Mary have already begun to show a notable degree of drying. With that in mind, Colonel Charles Jr., the minister responsible for water, says the government has started to implement aspects of the 2019 water policy. The Drought Management Committee will be rolling out its drought management plan, looking at short, medium and long-term solutions. The climate, the dry spell, um, is something which we do not have control over, but we have control over our response. And so we're doing a much better job in terms of preparing and being proactive. Details of those proactive strategies and more are expected at a press conference in early February. Senator Charles Jr. did point out, though, that the number of water shops will be increased and the Rural Water Supply Limited will be working with municipal corporations. To treat with the introduction and rehabilitation of catchment tanks, rainwater harvesting systems, um, the expansion of, of minor systems across the rural areas. One can argue, though, that even without a drought, the distribution of water is sometimes inconsistent. The solution? We are focusing also on that in terms of rehabilitation of pipelines and, and looking at an upgrade of some of the, the water systems. Um, Hagley Park, Windward Road, Constant Spring, Ferry. Um, as a government, we are aggressively uh, advancing those, those, those projects. NWC President Mark Barnett recently told our news center that repairs to the ferry pipeline which runs on the Mandela Highway in the corporate area are 90% complete. The minister says he met with major stakeholders on the project. We cannot fail. We cannot have the continued inordinate delay because that delay impacts so significantly the capacity and the ability for us to distribute water. Jamaicans are reminded to do their part, conserve water by, among other things, fixing leaks and installing low-flush toilets. Conservation aside, all eyes are on the government to see the response to another water crisis. Andrea Chisholm, TVJ News.